Short-term vacation rentals on Maui could be facing a significant shift due to bills making their way through the state legislature. Our Cynthia Yip explains why vacation rental operators say if the bills are passed, Hawaii could lose millions in state revenues. Sense to rip out an industry or, you know, rip the, the um, bottom out of an industry. Kelly Blair Swan represents a 13,000 legal short term vacation rentals on Maui. The proposed legislation aims to address the housing crisis following the devastating wildfires on Maui by converting certain short term vacation rentals into long term housing units. Because if we don't have the vacation rentals, if we, we don't have the STRs, I can't pay my housekeepers. They're not going to dinner at the restaurants. They're not buying the groceries. And we've got people that are, they may have a place to live, but they don't have a way to pay for those places to live. So how does that make sense? Currently, House Bill 1838 and Senate Bill 2919 are making their way through the state legislature, sparking heated debate among vacation rental owners, local residents, and lawmakers. So much of the support for the bill has come from the Maui community, has come specifically from the West Maui community that has been so uh, horribly impacted by the fires and that are really having a very difficult time finding access to housing, in part because so much of the housing stock in West Maui uh, is reserved for vacation rental uses. Swan says the short-term rentals on Maui generated 40 percent of state real property tax revenue this year, or about $214 million, and represents 20 percent of the county operating budget. Where is the state going to make that money back up? Where is the $13.9 million of uh, STR's contributions to the affordable housing budget? Where is that going to come from? So, first of all, that's that that doesn't make any sense to Ever. So many people. Swan says about 1,100 of the 3,000 units needed to house displaced residents on Maui have been created. She's encouraging vacation rental owners who have homes in West Maui to make their homes available. The Senate and House bills are now making their way through the legislature, and action will be taken on them this week. Cynthia Yip, Island News.